Okay, now to calculate the surface area to volume ratio. Do this by calculating the surface area first in units squared. To do this, you calculate the area of each side or surface of an object and add the area of those surfaces together to find the total surface area. Let's use this example I've got here. We've been given the dimensions of three sides. So four centimeters, one centimeter, and two centimeters. I look at that object and I see that there are three identical sides. So surface one, if I was to break it up, would um, be mirrored on this side over here, that surface in there. Surface two would be mirrored on that far side over here. And surface three is just top and bottom. So what I've done is I've drawn three different diagrams so I can calculate the area of each of those surfaces and then I'm gonna add them together. Okay, this is a great idea if you've got a slightly complicated object. Okay, surface one, which is here, I've got the dimensions of one centimeter by two centimeters. To find the area or the surface area of that object, um, I just multiply those two together. So one times two gives me two centimeters squared. So how many of these sides do I have? That's a good question. I've got two of them. Okay, so here and over here. When you're calculating the total surface area, a bit of a cheat is to multiply the surface area of uh, any duplicated ones by two. So I've got two surface areas, so I'm gonna multiply that by two. Now I'm gonna look at surface two, this one here. Let's calculate the surface area together. I have the dimensions of four centimeters by two centimeters. I need to multiply those two together. Four by two is eight. So that gives me eight centimeters squared. Now let's look at our third surface here. That's the top and the bottom one. That's four centimeters by one centimeter. Okay, you write that like this, four times one. Multiply that together, that's a pretty simple one. Gives me four centimeters squared. Hey, let's calculate the total surface area. Um, I've just put it in brackets to make it easier for you to visualize, um, but sometimes you don't have to do that, okay? When you've got a less complicated object, such as a cube where all the sides are the same. So let's look at surface area one. I've got two of those surfaces, so I need to multiply it by two. I add that to the surface area of uh, side two. So I multiply that by two because I've got two of them. And then I add that to the surface area three and I've got two of them also. That looks like this. Two by two, eight by two, and four by two. Add all of those together gives you four, add 16, add 18, which gives me 28 centimeters squared. Okay, my next step now is to calculate the volume. Okay, the volume is a bit of a simpler one. Uh, you calculate that um, by using this formula here. Height by width by length. So the volume is always measured in units cubed. It doesn't matter which side you use or which one you represent as the length, width, and height for this case uh, because it's all interchangeable. You're just multiplying them by each other. So four times one times two, uh, that would look like this. It would be four times one times two, four times one times two, so four times one is four times by two is eight centimeters cubed. Okay, now my third and final step is to write your surface area to volume ratio just like this. So your surface area, remember, was 28 centimeters squared, And then your volume was eight centimeters cubed. Okay, what I would do with that piece of information is compare it to another object's surface area to volume ratio. And whichever one had a greater surface area to volume ratio, the more efficient that object would be able to uh, exchange substances. Okay, so let's recap what we've learned. Uh, cells are small because they need a, um, move substances in and out 
of an object very efficiently and very effectively. To calculate surface area to volume ratio, first calculate the surface area, then the volume, and then put it together in a ratio. Okay, we use that to compare the surface area to volume ratio, or the amount, or how effectively a cell can exchange substances. Okay, make sure you subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, add comments, and see other videos that I've got in this series. Thanks for watching.